Yes. Uh, welcome back to Toronto. Thank you. Uh, the new book, My Fight, Your Fight. How long was this book in the in the making for you? About a year. Yeah. So actually, every single picture in the book is the the training camps that I was going through while it was being written. So um, any of those pictures, I could have been telling that story that day that the picture was taken. Right. Was uh, was this your idea, or did somebody come to you and say, "Listen, we want to do a book"? Based on your life, based on your story. Well, I've always wanted to do a book. Like when I said when the struggle was real, um, yeah. that was like my pep talk to myself. If th- it was a really terrible day, I would just tell myself like, "This is just the the part of the book where it, everything sucks." Because no one wants to read a book about sunshine lollipops, you know. And it just yeah. has to be like that to be an interesting story. And um, so I always knew I would do one someday. And then when I was presented with the idea of it. I probably would have waited a lot longer to do it if my my sister didn't happen to be an award winning sports journalist, and I just really wanted to do something with her. And we we're actually a lot closer after the whole process. Yeah. And I'm really happy I did it because if I did wait till the end, so much would have happened that it would have been the longest book that ever had. Like it has to be done in installments because I feel like I'm living eight lives. The uh, the thing with fighters, whether the great fighters, whether it be yourself or even like Ali or Tyson or everything else, when you find out people who are usually amazing at what they do when it comes to fighting usually come with a long list of larger fights they've had in their life to get to that point. Yeah, I mean the. The urge to to fight that desire, it's like something that you don't, it doesn't come out of nowhere. It yeah. comes from something. And um, yeah, I don't know. Everyone has their, their own unique story. Like easy paths makes kind of boring people. And right. the the highest tier fighters are always very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, was it tough for you to kind of, because when you are writing a book about your life, you really have to delve into your life. Yeah. Um, and there are some things that I didn't know about you that I read in this book, stuff uh, about your dad. Um, was it tough to go back to that time in your life when putting the book together? Yeah, it, it definitely wasn't easy, but I think because I wrote it with my sister, yeah, it was easy to talk with her. And so, I mean, if I if I was crying and spilling my guts out, I was, I was spilling it to her. And so, um, I don't know, it... I feel like it's it's a lot more heart- heartfelt because it was all spoken to someone that I really really love. Appreciate you ever felt it. bad for hurting somebody? No, they're trying no. to do the same thing to me. <laughs> but I know, but you're yeah, so much you better at it than they are, though. <laughs> well, I work really really <laughs> hard. No, no, but but the, when you are so much better at beating somebody up uh, than the other person, have you ever felt bad being like, oh man, that person they did not stand a chance, and I really hurt that girl? No, it's not a vegetable in front of me. I mean. <laughs> I, I fought Sarah McMahon, and she's an Olympic silver medalist that undefeated yeah. was crushing everybody. And then, yeah. like, you know, no one's easy until after you beat them. But everyone right. thought, oh, she's going to be the one. She's going to be the one to beat her because it's two Olympians. Yeah. And um, just because it lo- might look easy to you, yeah. that just means it was done right. Um, right. Um, and you even see it in the the Entourage trailer where, guys, it's almost a sexual thing where they want you to beat them up a little bit, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't is that what the impression Please. you got from the trailer? <laughs> I'm the first person that sold you that. Um, no. Okay. No, you're not. No, you're not. Some people are into it, you know. Some people aren't. I don't know. Um I wanna know what you listen to before you step into the octagon. What do you have on your on your iPod, what's on your playlist that, that gets you like hype? You want me you... to be totally honest? Yeah, hundred percent. When I walk into my locker room for the fight, I lay down and go to sleep. It's complete silence in the locker room. Are you serious? <laughs> I take a nap. I walk in there. I pass out. They wake me up. They're Good like, "Guys, stretch a little bit." Really? You're not listening to like DMX or like LL Cool J or? Mm-mm, I don't want no music, no really? laughing, no phones, no talking. It's like it's complete silence. It's serious. It's about to go down. And uh, yeah, when uh, I, I just don't want to bother with. The only music I want to hear is my walkout song when I go out, and that and is it. like that Pavlovian. Dog, I just like go right back into that place. Wow, damn. Well, Ronda Rousey, <laughs> uh, listen, thank you very much for joining us on the Raza Mocha show. Uh, the new book is called My Fight, Your Fight, out right now. Uh, we're gonna see you in, we just saw you in Furious Seven, yeah. and uh, we're gonna see you in the new uh, Entourage movie. Cannot wait for that. And uh, before we wrap things up, too, uh, in a totally like non sexual way, 
Cause I'm so like I'm pissed at you. Like you I didn't even say to. I didn't mean because to. you knew I was gonna like request I didn't from know. my favorite I didn't UFC know. fighter. I didn't like know. I'm such a huge fan what? of yours, Ronda Rousey. I it would be an honor. <laughs> you want to get armbarred? Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I could tell by your tone. <laughs> like. Come here. <laughs> You're the oh. best. You are the best. I, I got so heels on, you. though. You are so fantastic. But not like, I don't want, like, don't break my arm. Like, I. Do you want, like, the full, like, on the ground arm bar? Or do you want, like, a walkie katame kind of, like, simple one? Uh, what is a walkie katame? Walkie katame is an illegal arm bar in judo because. Do that one. <laughs> do, the, do the one that's illegal. Okay. Well, the reason why it's legal because you, you have to give the person a chance to give up. And in a walkie katame, you break their arm as you're throwing them. Do that one. Do that one. Oh, my God. Let me watch your knees for one second. I'm going to put this down. Watch okay. Watch your knees for one second. I'll just show you what it is. I'm not yeah. actually going to break your arm. Yeah, little, like, just, but in the in the book, when um, I'm fighting the the one chick in, in the in the World Championship semifinals, yeah. the, the thing she, she broke my arm with was the Waka Katame. Or, or dislocated. <laughs> okay, go yeah, ahead. So, now I kind of. Well, I have actually, I have actually been caught with this one. Mocha Ronda, really? Ronda yeah. Mocha. Now go ahead. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, the walkie time you get the one, one of the arms here. Yep. And I'm just gonna throw all of my body weight around this way and okay. pulling your arm across my body. So, okay. okay. Oh my so goodness. Go okay. Right. Hold on. So if I pull this across, I throw all my weight this way. Oh! <laughs> No, it's okay. It's okay. Do it again. Do it again. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way to really do it slow. So you pull it across your body, and yeah. all my body weight goes whoosh this way. And so it's really almost like a poorly designed joint. Okay. Where it's like, it doesn't take, I could literally break down with one finger. If I no, to. you couldn't do it. Oh! oh, yeah, you could. <laughs> Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that is Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey just stuck one finger in Mocha's elbow and he screamed. It's the beauty of physics. <laughs> also, that was very hot. <laughs> Someone's going to take out the word elbow and replace it with something else in that sentence. We're we'll, we'll going to loop that and we'll bleep it. Don't yeah, worry. right. <laughs> she put her finger in his bloop and he screamed. Uh, Ronda Rousey, we love you. Anytime you're back at Toronto, please visit us on the Rosa Mocha. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Thank you for having me. Yes.